WP Speed Fix. In this video, I'm going to share an alternative to using a recapture for contact forms. We actually have this client here is actually having a problem with their contact us form or contact us page. They get a ton of spam through it. It actually has a capture on there already and the capture is not blocking it or blocking the spam. So we're going to dial up the filtering here and offer them a level of or higher level of protection. There is another video as well on our channel that um, talks about filtering spam site-wide. So you might want to look at that one as an alternative to this one. This one is focused solely on the Contact Us page. If you've got forms across your website, that might be a better video to look at. But I'll give you this one. I'll run through this one quickly. I'm going to create a new firewall rule. Actually, I'm over here on security, WAF, web application firewall inside a Cloudflare account. This is actually a free Cloudflare account. You get five free Cloudflare rules. There's another post on our website that actually explains these ones here, some SEO, uh, some, sorry, Cloudflare rules to speed up and secure your website. These ones are WordPress specific, so increasing the security of WordPress and reducing load. I'll link you up to that as well in the description. But anyway, I'm gonna create a new firewall rule, click the button here, and what are we gonna call it? We're gonna call it contact us form spam filtering. And so I'm going to so give it a name. So give yours a name. Um, and we want to add, so URL full URL path equals, we want to have the contact us page. So in this case, it's forward slash contact us, us forward slash on the end. Be mindful of whether you have a forward slash on the end or not. This site does. So URL equals, so it's a contact us page. And we want country is, does not equal Australia. It's the site in Australia, but it's also selling things internationally. So we're going to exclude Australia because we don't, we're not really getting any spam from Australia. It's overseas. I'm also going to exclude North America. So North America is the second biggest market. So we're going to choose continent does not equal North America. And we're going to not show it to known bots. Known bots equals off. So what this rule does for the contact us page for visitors who are not in Australia and they're not in North America and they're not a known bot. So a bot might be a Google crawler, Bing, there's a handful of other crawlers on the Cloudflare crawlers list um, that we don't want to block. What we're going to do here, we don't want to block them, but we're going to use JS Challenge. So JS Challenge runs them through a Cloudflare level capture. So if they are bots that are able to solve the capture, then this will stop them or it will filter them. They'll be blocked at the Cloudflare layer. So I'm going to hit deploy firewall rule and that pushes it live. Now it's worth coming back, you know, an hour later, a little while later, depending on your traffic. And you'll see these numbers here. That's how many times the rule was used. And you'll see this one for these bots, sorry, for these JS challenge, CSR is how many times it was solved. So this rule here is a similar rule, but what we're doing is capturing traffic that is going to the WordPress login. And you can see here in the last 24 hours, there was 15 bots hit that page and none of them solved the capture. So none of them were genuine. So you can see it issued, okay, if I hover over that, 15 issued and zero were solved. So you wanna keep an eye on this one for your spam filter as well. That'll tell you if it's working or how well it's working. Um, I suspect on this site, we'll see issued in the hundreds and solved maybe one or two. Um, but that's important to keep an eye on it. Um, in the last Cloudflare video we did, we also talked about how you can use this edit expression here. So I will copy and paste this into the description of the video and then you can simply copy and paste that into your own Cloudflare account and it will build the rule for you. So if I copy that here and I'll just show you, you can I'll just run through this process again. So actually I'll just delete that. That's probably the easiest way to do it. So I'll delete the rule we just made, create it again. And if you just click edit expression like this, you can copy and paste it in there. Let's give it a name. Note, let us page spam filter rule. And we just set up JS challenge and then deploy it. So by copying and pasting like that, it will make the same rule. And you can copy and paste. I'll put it in the description and you can copy and paste into your Cloudflare just like that. And then you can just go through and edit it you know, you wanna make sure that the page is right and you've set these countries or continents as you need to for yours. So if you're in Europe, you might wanna be, you know, does not equal Europe. 
and so forth. Um, or you can get rid of them and that will just run anybody hitting the contact us page. Apart from the known bots, you want to keep this rule here because you don't want to block Google because that's going to screw up your SEO. Or it's, it's going to make that page so it's not indexed anymore. But you can edit that if we got rid of both of those then it would just filter everybody hitting the contact us page. But since these are our two biggest markets, we don't want to annoy real users because people hitting the contact us page are actually very valuable because they're probably on their way to buying and through asking questions. So we just need a bit of a balance here of spam filtering and not annoying actual real users or getting in their way. Anyway, that's it. We'll leave you to it. If you need help with your site speed, go to wpspeedfix.com, request a free site speed audit there. There is also some other free stuff there. We have a free site speed tool, site speed bot, where you can run your site through it. it takes about 90 seconds, 100% free, no opt-ins, and it will give you detailed site speed optimization insights, recommendations, and also some SEO recommendations as well to increase your traffic, improve your site speed, pass call web vitals, fix stuff that's broken on your site. Hope you found this useful. Let me know if you need more detail, if it didn't make sense in the comment section. Um, would love to hear from you. Cheers.